going on guys? Welcome finally to the E36 M3 project. Uh, I, I, I still kind of can't believe that this is real, that I actually own an E36 M3 um, and that it's going to be my drift car and that I'm actually going to finally be able to start um, going out to track days and like having fun with my friends. Um, it's, it's crazy. Uh, it still doesn't feel real, but that aside, I'd mentioned on Instagram that the first video in this thing was going to be me getting it up in the air, kind of getting underneath it, popping the hood, kind of looking at interior bits, you know, things, things that it needs, right? Man maintenance, uh, aesthetics, that kind of stuff. But actually what we're going to do instead, just because the timeline worked out a little better, I went ahead and kind of looked over everything because a lot of the parts that this thing needs are like dealer specific stuff or they have to come straight from BMW. So it's gonna be a week or two, maybe more, hopefully not before I can get everything in. So I got a big preliminary order taken care of and once stuff starts to come in, we'll go over the car and uh, discuss what it needs. But for now, what we're gonna do today and tomorrow and probably the next day is just clean this thing. Because man, when I tell you this thing is gross, I mean like, it's it's really gross um and i don't just mean clean it i mean we are going to like paint correct this thing ceramic coat it pull the seats out like scrub the carpets deep clean the engine bay clean the underside deep clean the fender wells just because it's just a thing for me like it, for a car to feel well put together it has to be clean so that's where we're going to start i think this car deserves it it's now sitting at roughly 220,000 miles of blissful German glory. So it's about time this thing was given that the love in that right that it deserves. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is I want to get these Vaders out uh, because I want to have those set aside, not only to give them a deep clean, but to get underneath them. And then, yeah, we'll just go from there. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is take these seats out. There's a little plastic cover right here for the uh, front nut. It is a 16 millimeter nut right here. Thank God these seats are manual because if I was doing this in the convertible, I would be royally, royally screwed because not all the functions of the seats. Oh, wow. That one didn't just break, did it? No, thank God. <laughs> so weird how you can hear that under the car. There we go. Now the seat should be free. Now, if I'm not mistaken, whoa, that was easy. <laughs> oh, there's all sorts of goodies down here. Wow, this thing is heavy. I should just come. right out just like that all right let's go ahead and get the uh, passenger side seat out oh guys these things are no joke Golly! Ugh. Look at that. German put poop, poop, crap all over me. It's nice. These are actually relatively new. So these things should clean up really nicely. Look at all this dirt. Oh, it's gonna be so nice with this thing clean. Yeah, let's just go ahead and just, yeah, get all that in there. Let's just take a second and look at this interior together because, oh my goodness, this is gross. Just like you, I mean, it's black carpet and you can still see how just discolored everything is and it's just not sanitary. Ugh. And like, look, you can see where there's obviously been a few drink spills in here. Oh man. Yep. More drink spill right there. Just all sorts of schmutz and lovely, good stuff. So, back seat's not bad. 
but uh yeah let's go ahead and get this clean all right guys so i just had the lovely privilege of crawling in through the back seat to try to get the trunk open as you can see you had to crawl back up in there and try to figure out why the trunk wasn't opening. And I figured it out. This rod, uh, if you shut the trunk a little too hard, pops out of this collet. And Evan, the previous owner, had uh, hot glued it together to try to keep the rod inside, but unfortunately it had come out. So I just crawled up in here, shoved this rod back up in here, had my dad come out and push the button, got the trunk open. I just ordered one of these rods, so we'll get, or not the rods, but this collet, so hopefully once I get that replaced, it should stop it from popping out because all it is, is as you can see, it just has these little, you know, these little like teeth of sorts that just provide tension on the end of the rod. And that's how it stops it from popping out. So yeah, trunk should be working soon. Okay, back to cleaning. this rear trunk carpet out. What up, big dog? Michael, let me get an initial evaluation. What are we thinking here? Solid nine out of ten. <laughs> Cherry, mint, fresh off the mm. showroom floor. Mm. Something like that. You know what they say? What do they say? Beauty is an eye of the beholder, Griffin. Well, I'm so, the only one looking at it, so. <laughs> Four wheel squeal. What's wrong with the setup? You mean ceramic coated the pressure washer? What's going on there, boss? Hey, she's a little. I ain't gonna show that. I ain't... Check me out. Matter of fact, I just got that yesterday. That's clean. Appreciate that. We got Michael here. We're getting ready to start on the E36. This thing is pretty clapped, as you guys have seen. Uh, we're probably gonna start with the engine bay, right? Pretty clapped, putting it lightly. Yeah, it's it's pretty rough. So we're probably gonna start with the engine bay, then I'm assuming what wheels and tires, then paint decon, and then move into polishing from there. So that's pretty much what we got going on. Uh, I think this thing's gonna have a pretty serious transformation, though. I think by the time we're said and done, it's gonna be pretty night and day. Uh, Evan, if you're watching this, I think this is gonna impress you just how much of this paint is left that can be salvaged. Um, so yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to try to document Michael doing a lot of this, and then once he kind of gets in a groove on polishing, I'll probably dive back in on the interior. But yeah, so I guess let's go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. You don't need no funnel. What's oh. the funnel? A little leak, but you know, that's all right. Maybe I wasn't ready. <laughs> Thank you. 
very satisfying. This takes a doctor skill set. Like sunflowers. Yeah, that's, what we, that's what I was gonna say. You ain't pop spraying with the solution. What, what are you doing? What are you All right, Michael, so we're about to smooth move the car, which is a product from Shine Supply. Can you just kind of quickly tell me what it is and what it does and why we're gonna need to use it? Um, pretty much smooth move is a paint decontaminator. Um, it's gonna get, um, break stuff down in the paint that's embedded in the paint surface um, that just normal washing would fix. So uh, Stuff that you can't see, you can't see it. Um, you'll spray it on, apply it. Um, it's things such as like um, environmental fallout, rail dust, any type of carbons, um, little rough particles. Um, you spray it on, it's clear, it turns purple when it starts breaking it down, um, and it just, it, it helps smooth out the paint, hence the name Smooth Move. So now, this would take off stuff that your traditional clay bar wouldn't by itself, right? Yeah. Because you need a chemical have, reaction as opposed to just a mechanical. mechanical. Yeah. Got you. clay bar after, but this is just step one. Got you. So. Okay, well let's do it. Get off my block. This stuff stinks. I know that's right. Ooh, pull my pants. See that purple coming out right there? Those are basically metallics and embedded particles. Look right here, look at the fender. Let's see, yeah, you can see it bleeding. And this is stuff you can't get out with just your traditional clay bar without a product like this. All right guys, so right now we have hot shot soap, right? Setting up on the vehicle. We're just kind of letting it bleed out. We've already went over the whole vehicle with a wash mint. What wash mint did you use for this one? Just a flat out? Yeah, so a shine supply flat out. Um, it, it should go without saying, but when you're getting ready to polish a vehicle like this, you don't need to do like a two bucket crazy method wash. You literally just foam the whole thing and just, just wipe it, like just get it clean. Because yeah, that's probably gonna swirl the paint, but it's like, paint's already so swirled and we're gonna polish it it'd be kind of silly to do anything else so uh yeah so that's what we got going on there like i said right now we're just letting it kind of bleed out all the rest of that um smooth move kind of come down bring the rest of the contaminants off the paint surface and then i believe next is what we're gonna rinse it and then clay bar right yeah so next we'll rinse clay bar the whole car and then it should be just about time to get started polishing so once michael gets started polishing and i get a couple shots I'm gonna go in and I'll probably start getting back on the interior and hopefully, hopefully by the end of the day, we should have this thing completely dialed in and coated and ready to go. So yeah, exciting. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this car has never been clay barred. Probably ever. Hey, don't sleep on escorts. I love a little Ford Escort. I was like, man, it's still there. Because you would think somebody would get rid of it and they just shut the subscription off. Not my guy. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, Michael, what are you thinking? Is uh, what's what's next step here? Um, we gotta remove we gotta remove the majority.
majority of these here defects. Heavy, heavy compounding. Oh, geez. Yeah, guys, this thing is, uh, she's rough. Let's show them the roof. The hood's not bad. Yep, fresh out the mine, nigga, for that coal, <laughs> baby. Yep, I'm a supervisor, so I'm not dirty, though. Slick back what, uh, that slick back's what Elvis used to put on his hair. It was just, uh, it just held that hair stay in place. This is not Griot's. Fun fact. Use offer code Aiden MT for 10% off Griot's products. Dilly dilly. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I dropped my classic cup bottle. Uh-huh. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Crack the fool out of it. <laughs> You're good at that, Just aren't like you? that one. But that's not classic cut. That's classic finish. That's clapic cut. That's all. Uh, it looked like somebody could walk off the air cold. But that's <laughs> All right, guys, so Michael's been going hard on the M3. Um, the paint is actually making a really drastic improvement, I'd say in probably like the 80% territory, but there's a lot of really deep stuff here that is just not gonna come out with what we've got on hand. And unfortunately, what it's probably gonna end up taking is something like wet sanding, rotary polishing. It, it's gonna take something intense, right? So we're kind of just gonna get what we can now. We're kind of, or we're changing game plans. Instead of coating the car and locking in swirls still remaining, we're gonna probably just seal it with something like Shine Supply Daddio is probably what I'm thinking. And that'll at least give it some protection for being outside for now. And then we'll kind of come back to it when, we have, when we're ready to, um, to really dive into wet sanding or rotary polishing or, or something in that ballpark. So I'll kind of give you a quick showcase of what we're working with though. And bear in mind, like I said, you're gonna notice the color difference here is going to be intense but you will still see some defects remaining. I mean, look at that. So you can see right there, that's what we were working with to begin with. And then we come over here and you can see there's still some defects remaining, but the car is a different color. Like that is gray, that is Cosmos Shores. So that's kind of what we're working with right now. You know, it is what it is. This is just the reality of doing stuff like this. You really don't know what you're getting until you get into it. So what we're gonna do right now though, is we need to go eat because I don't know about you, Michael, but you hungry? That boy, this man's working his butt off for me today. I just wanna make that clear. You guys need to go follow Real Shine Detailing's YouTube channel. Michael himself doesn't upload that often, but anytime we get together, we always make videos. So we're gonna be making some cool stuff with him soon. Well contractually I'm now obligated per our agreement on this vehicle to film for Michael so that's going to be going on but you guys should go subscribe to his YouTube channel I'm gonna put a link in the bio below so let's go get some food though for real Yeah, I know. 
know that. I asked Ch whip, Cherry or Whipped Cream, I'm like, you still don't understand? <laughs> Take your mask off. <laughs> Let me get a review real quick. What we got? Slap. Slap? Slap. That's how they do it in Meridian. Slap. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do it like that out west. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got it out west. They don't got it at all. Jesus Christ, save some for the meal. <laughs> There's so much water in my nose right now. <laughs> 10 out of 10 until that. That's a 1 out of 10 at that point because it is literally halfway up my nostrils. When it tastes good, Griffin, it don't matter. Don't that ask is questions. Mayo and ketchup. What, okay, what do those two things combined make? Bussin'? They make bussin'. Make bussin'. We're just calling that bussin'. I call this. I call this right here the eighth wonder of the world. I, there ain't no way you can eat one of them chicken minis in that without barfing. There's no <laughs> way. I'm looking at up. that and I'm already Check halfway there. Oh. Mmm. Mm. Mm. That right there. Like real pasty people is how we eat it. Nothing. Unseasoned. Unflavored. Alright, we need to stop. We need to stop. Alright, you know what? I would do it. I'm gonna try it, but hey, look, this is all I got. That's all I got. You ain't gonna give me one of those, I already know. You for real? For the sake of this, yes. I've been given the chicken mini. If I'm about to throw up, I'm not gonna record it. Alright. That's pretty good. Alright. Yes. We're doing it, we're going all in. You ready? You ready? See? You ought to listen to me sometimes. <laughs> I actually like it. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, we're back from Chick-fil-A. Uh, we had a good meal. Michael put me on some new sauce, so so that slaps. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and get back started. I'm gonna try to get some clips of Michael continuing to polish. I'm getting ready to tackle this trunk mat because if I can show you guys this thing, you can see someone spilled oil on this thing. There's been all sorts of God knows what. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this, and uh, Michael's just gonna continue plugging away on this thing. But I mean, look at what we're working with difference-wise here. That is clear as day right there. Mm -hmm. Not a car nose, don't ask me that. That's an FBI stuff. Uh, the engine right there, the camshaft, won't spin inside the block. And ain't nobody finna go nowhere with it. <laughs> That's how that works. Get a little BMW tip for the day. I think somebody lived on a, like, like on a gravel, gravel parking lot. Uh-huh. Driveway and they like before they'd wash it, they would just like rub their mint on the gravel and then just kind of do that number right there. <laughs> Just look at how much better this trunk mat came out. It's not perfect, but like this thing is 10 times better than it was. Just think about that, Michael. Way better, mo' better. Take this boy inside. Michael's hitting a lick on the paint still. Making good progress. All right, Brandon, let's hear what you think of the car. It's nice. You like it? Yeah. 
So keep it down and then come up with the tip at yeah, the end. Yeah, I got you. I do the whole thing with, with it. With just the, tip? the end of it sometimes, okay. yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of killing this floor mat here. Get this one that thing in. You hiring over there, Real Shine? Is well, my a job you offer? Know, well, you know, we're going to have to work on a contract, but. <laughs> How much you starting out at? About six fifty. I need to start out about at least one out of three, six to seven. He ain't hired. He ain't hired. Brother, you, you hit a lick on that carpet like that, I have you at 33 cents or something. <laughs>
He's the boy you want. You can find him on Facebook, Instagram. Any other ways that people can find you? YouTube. YouTube. YouTube, that's true. Yeah. Hey, our guys already talked about him. I'll put his channel link in the bio below so you guys can go subscribe there. Probably gonna be making some fire content here shortly. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited to show you this. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Michael hit it and we're gonna, y'all, 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 y'all ain't ready for this. You ain't ready for this. guys so i hope you like those few little shots just kind of wanted to go over the rest of the car with you as you can see this thing is just like it's just silly yes yes i promise that plate's gonna make more sense soon just uh, i don't want to spoil it but just just hang on bear with me so as i'm sure you might be able to see or maybe you can't there's still a few major defects left in the paint but like overall, this transformation is just silly. Like the car is a completely different shade of black. And I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, Michael just freaking killed this thing. I mean, I, I like, I'm just gonna walk around it and just continue to show you guys. Cause like, it's just silly. We didn't do the headlights because obviously I've got glass depots coming, depots, whatever. I've got glass hero headlights coming. But like, just look at this thing. It's silly. There, there's spots in the car where it's rusted or, or there's some paint missing, but like this thing is now just so presentable, right? And we haven't even gotten into the interior cause like, check this out. Like, just look at that. I wish you guys could smell how good it smells in here now and could have seen all the crap that I pulled out of this carpet because that was my job was interior and uh, I stayed scrubbing on this thing. Let's see if you can see the rear floor mat. Yep, same design on the rear floor mat. But like, man. Yep. The trunk I had to give, whoop, whoop trunk I had to give the exact same treatment just because it deserved it everything in here is super deep cleaned so also I'd like to show you guys what I did underneath here yep if you know you know that is the original style 66 front from the e36 verts first setup uh, you're not gonna be able to see super well but I deep cleaned out the spare tire well so everything in there is just super nice and juiced up obviously I juiced the wheel up to put um, clean and shine on the tire and ride shined out the wheel so everything is nice and sauced Let's gently shut the trunk or try to at least nope nope not good enough there we go same story just absolutely like just just a nice place to be like i actually want to have people come sit in this car now and like enjoy it because i don't feel it just doesn't feel gross so, all right, I'm gonna try to go ahead and pop the hood here. Let's see how this goes. Uh, 
like a like a glove all right and so obviously too we had to dial in the engine bay so i mean like <laughs> this kind of speaks for itself it's pretty sauced up in here i mean overall like i said this thing is just dialed now i'm super happy with how this came out and uh yeah i mean that's pretty much the car at this point so now now that it's clean we can start tearing it apart and uh getting into the nitty gritty fun stuff like drift mods and things of that sort so that's pretty much a wrap on the uh detailing adventure of the m3 i'm really happy with how this came out michael i cannot thank you enough it, it really meant the world to me that you took two days out of your time to help me with this thing um i couldn't have done it without you uh, if you guys are excited about this, please hit the like button. Please subscribe because we get a lot more coming on this M3. I just probably ordered like 60 parts for this thing. It's a lot of maintenance stuff, but it's going to be interesting to see this thing kind of come back to life. We're going to have to address all the rust in the near future. So if you're excited about that, hang out. Uh, I think this is going to be a really exciting series. Just so you guys know, the E36 Vert's Tale of the Dragon series has not been concluded. When I went to go, well, when I went to go to the mountains to do the conclusion of that series is kind of when I accidentally ended up coming home with this thing. So I'm going to probably be going back in the next couple weeks, finishing that Tale of the Dragon series. I got a GoPro, which is pretty exciting. So now that I've got that, it's going to be way more um, engaging and it's going to be way easier to film that experience too. So think it'll be worthwhile but anyways i hope you guys are enjoying everything so far i hope you have a great day thank you so much for being here keep your head up much love to you guys and uh i'll see you guys next time last century